Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made this stuffed longhorn cake. This cake's a lot of fun because there's all this knit texture. No, I did not sculpt it by hand. I have a very simple way to create this effect, and I'm gonna show you how. So let's get started. I started out with three round layers of red velvet cake, and in between each layer is white chocolate ganache. Next, I took a serrated knife, and I just rounded out the edges. Most of the carving is in that top layer. Then I added a crumb coat, which is a nice thin layer of either buttercream, in this case, white chocolate ganache. This is going to create a nice smooth texture for us to add modeling chocolate to later. I placed two straws into the cake and then I trimmed away the excess straw. So these straws are going to support the cake board and the cakes above it. We don't want that bottom layer of cake to get smushed. Then I placed one dowel going through both cakes. And that's gonna keep the head from falling off. <laughs> so just like the body, I just trimmed away some of the edges of the cake and I did leave a little bit for the nose. I wanted to bulk up the shoulders a little bit more and the head, so I added some cake clay. Cake clay is just the stuff that cake balls are made of, uh, cake crumbs mixed with icing. Then I covered the entire thing in a layer of white chocolate ganache. Next comes the modeling chocolate. This modeling chocolate is burnt orange, so it is orange mixed with some brown. And I'm just rolling it out nice and thin. Then I grab my texture mat. This is a knit texture mat. It's food safe and it's amazing. You place it directly onto the chocolate and then you just take your rolling pin and roll it right over the mat. Look at that texture. It's super simple and it looks so cool. I placed panels of modeling chocolate onto this cake. So there's one that goes from his nose to the back of his head, and you can see the texture is vertical. Then I add two panels on the sides of his head. You can see that the texture is horizontal. And I did that because I think it looks more realistic. It looks more like a stuffed animal. Then you just want to blend in the seams, make sure all of the cake is covered. For the nose, I mixed some of that burnt orange with white modeling chocolate. So it made the perfect nose color. And then I just took a rectangle, folded back the edges, and placed it right onto the cake. You also want to add a little bottom lip as well. For the ears, I took a rectangle piece of orange. You fold it in the center and then fold the edges down to create an M. And then you pinch the M. Then you start to manipulate the rest of it. I want the ear to be a little pointed, so I just fold back the orange modeling chocolate and create that ear shape. So you make two of those. Here I took a ball tool and I'm mapping out where I want the ears to be and the horns. To support the horns, I have wire here. This is already food safe, and I'm going to thread it through his head. You just poke it through, make sure it comes out the other side, and that's gonna support those horns plenty. Even this thin wire will. To place the ears on, they don't really need support because they're pretty small. So I just take the modeling chocolate ear, place it onto the head, and blend the chocolate into the cake. Then I manipulated the horns a little bit, but I'm gonna go back to those later. For the eyes, I took a ball tool, created an eye socket, then I took a small amount of black modeling chocolate and placed it right into the eye socket. For the nose, I'm adding two little circle nostrils, and then I'm going to sculpt up to the top of the nose. I want this to create kind of a comma shape. That's what a real Longhorn's nose looks like. To define those nostrils even more, I take a little bit of black modeling chocolate 
and I place it right into the nostril. Then you start to work that modeling chocolate into the nostril, make sure the entire thing is nice and black. Just a couple comma nostrils. So back to the horns. You just take some rolled up modeling chocolate, and this is actually going to support that wire so the horns won't fall anymore. <laughs> Put the chocolate right on the wire and start to work it into the end of the cake. Since this chocolate's nice and soft, I'm gonna let it set a little bit before I add texture. I want them to look spotted, so I'm going in with wavy lines at the bottom and just trimming away some of that orange chocolate. Next, we're gonna cover the entire thing in white modeling chocolate with the texture. Start to trim away the excess chocolate and try to match up the orange and the white. So you just go in and really, there's room for error with this because there's a lot of texture in that knit. So you can go in and just make marks and you really can't tell. I decided that I wanted the orange to go down into his chest. So I just took a blade and trimmed away some of the white texture and I'm gonna fill it in with some of the orange. I think that because the nose is so light that this orange underneath it will make the nose pop more and it kind of disappears when it's too light. So orange is best. So you can see the nose pops. <laughs> So finally, I have one more panel in the back that I need to cover, making sure the entire cake is covered with modeling chocolate. The hooves are just rolled up modeling chocolate. The arms and legs are so small and thin that I just use modeling chocolate. Place it directly on the cake, and I trimmed it a diagonal. And then you can actually take the mat, and if you messed up any of the texture, just push it right onto the cake, and it'll form again. I got two arms and two legs. I realized that if you take the orange modeling chocolate and you kind of roll the mat around it, it's a lot easier to add that texture to that hoof shape. Now that the horns have hardened up a bit, I'm gonna add texture to those as well. And then I brushed on a little piping gel to the eyes to make them look shiny. For the spots, I just balled up some really soft modeling chocolate. You just wanna knead it, make sure it's not too hard. Place it right on the cake, and I kinda of rolled the tool to create different spots and different shapes that aren't too even and then take the texture mat and press directly onto those spots. You can have fun with this and you can cover up mistakes. So if there's a spot that you don't like on the body, just add some orange, place it on and add the texture. I added larger spots to the back. My longhorn cake is meant to look like Bevo. So Bevo is a mascot who is burnt orange and he has a nose band. So I added some rolled up white modeling chocolate and used this really cool tool to add what looks like some threading around it. And then with some food color, I hand painted Bevo across his nose. And there you have it, super adorable knit stuffed longhorn cake. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel because we put out a new cake video every Monday. And if you're curious what I'm up to behind the scenes, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes.